What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again, man. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another video today, guys. We are inside Soul Play once again. Huge shout out to the homies at Soul Play ATL for letting me come through to get a early review out on a very special sneaker that's dropping this upcoming weekend. If you're in Georgia, in the Atlanta area, in Gwinnett, come to Soul Play ATL on Wednesday. Or they are hosting a sneaker trivia event where they be giving away one pair of these for free and also doing raffles, DJs, it'll be food, it's just gonna be a lit event, I'll be in the building, so pull up this upcoming Wednesday. I will make sure to link everything down below in the description along with their IG, so go and follow them and tune in and make sure you slap a like on this video, comment down below and subscribe. Let's get straight into this video, man, let's get it. So man, today guys, we got an upcoming, very, very salt and hype after sneaker, the Jordan 1 Homage to Home. This is the Jordan 1 that pays tribute to Jordan's career in Chicago, uh, what, what a great career, we all know, the six rings, and uh, the GOAT of all, the greatest of all time, man. Sorry LeBron fans, it is what it is. But the shoe here, man, it features a split design of the Jordan 1 bread, as well as the Jordan 1 Chicago or the OG colorway. The classical colorways being blended in with a strip down the middle. On the tongue, you have black on one side, on the other side you have white, and basically, on the, I always get these words wrong, the linear interior, whatever, the, the lineal side or the lineal, whatever. Basically on the outer side, you have the Jordan 1 bread. And then on the inner side, you have the Jordan 1 Chicago. These also feature slightly different leather materials going on that I noticed. For instance, on this bread side, the, the material is more softer and tumbled. And it does feature basically like the same material that was used on the Jordan 1 uh, bread toe, I would say. Uh, I'm the red, black, what, the bread, the bread toe, whatever, yeah, the bread toe, I think they would call it. It's very, very plush, tumbled, very nice, has a nice texture to it, as well as on the red here as well. It's very tumbled, but it's very similar on the reds to that of the white. However, I feel like on the inside of the shoe on the Jordan 1, uh, OG Chicago, that this material is very similar to that of its, you know, original Jordan 1 OG Chicago that dropped back in the day. I feel like the leather there is not better than the leather here. However, the leather overall, the quality is amazing. I have to give it to them. The way they were able to split the shoe down the middle and still like give it a nice look, I have to give them applause for that. I mean, the, the, the craftsmanship was really well put. The split, you don't see any stitches. It just seems like the leathers are just mended together perfectly. However, you do see a line, but that's what they wanted to do. Also, I noticed the tag has the same split design as well on the back. It goes from white to black. And overall, I'm really, really digging the shoe. The bottom has a red bottom sole, and it's gonna be very well sought after. I know the ones in Chicago were very limited. They were numbered, and these pairs are not numbered. These are just the general release that's going out to the public. However, still, it will be a release that will sell out. So make sure you check your calendars, check your stores. Like I said, if you're in Gwinnett or in Atlanta, come pull up. First come, first serve. First come, first serve, no raffles pull up no no you know they're doing a raffle on Wednesday but that's a whole different thing that's for a free pair so pull up first come first serve so play ATL they, they'll got them they, they got them now and huge shout out to them for letting me check them out follow them on IG and let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below on whether or not you're gonna get them I feel like overall though they are great sneaker they're gonna be very hard to match I mean, you got a lot of colors going on, and it's it's a it's somewhat of a tacky design, but it blends well. So it's not bad, but it is different. So you're gonna have to be able to finesse it. I mean, something like this would work perfectly fine. That's why I wore it today. But I got the I got the bread toes on feet. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me know. Can you make this work? Are you gonna make it work? Why you're copping them? Why you're not copping them? They come with an extra set of laces, and the retail will be 160. So they're normal, and uh, that's about it, man. I'm gonna go ahead, guys, shoot you guys to the on foot, and we'll be right back. All right, let's get it. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
Go follow Soul Play ATL on IG as well. Like I said, everything will be down below in the description if you want to come pull up Wednesday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Wednesday, Soul Play ATL. I will be here. And then, like I said, that upcoming Saturday, first come, first serve on the Homies of Homes. No, you know, raffle or tickets, whatever. Just be here. You need to get it. Campers are allowed, right? Campers are allowed. Get your tent. Get your they're gonna pull up. Well, I, if I'm available, I might swing through too. Come chop it up. But I know I'll be there that morning. I'm gonna try to make it there that morning on Saturday morning when they actually open up the doors. So guys, uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love you guys, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. It's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.